how y'all doing today? I'm showing you some knives here because I want to talk about spoons. No, <laughs> I want to talk about knives. You know, when we think about knives, um, you probably think about something like one of these uh, for cutting meat, bread, cardboard, whatever. But would you, let me move those out of the way. But would you think of something like the shell as a knife? It is. And I will tell you more about this and some other ancient knives that I found around the Saginaw, Michigan area in just a moment. These three specimens are from Saginaw, Michigan and were found near Ojibwe Island, which at one time had a uh, Native American population back in prehistory and early contact history. These shells are knives. And um, there, there was an abundance of shells, obviously, because it was surrounded by water, and uh, the Indians made use of them in various ways. This particular piece, you can see along the edge that it's serrated, where it has been retouched much in the way an arrowhead would have been. This, this one probably would have been handheld and used in that manner. But these other two are rather unique in that they are notched. This one is notched here, as you can see, and it would have been attached to some sort of a handle. And again, the cutting edge is serrated. This one also is notched here. It is actually double notched. There's a portion of a notch that you can see here. Again, it would have been probably attached to a handle in this manner. And the edge again is serrated. Um, these go back probably to the late woodland period about 1400 years ago and um, are awesome but not rare finds. They are actually quite abundant along the Saginaw River near uh, Ojibwe Island. I use old cast off aquariums for display cases and in this case is a variety of stone and shell items again from the Ojibwa Island area and I'm going to move up and look down over this and you will see that there is an abundance of shell pieces and other shells that were used for cutting. There are stone tools also. Here is a stone knife that was found also in the area of Ojibwa Island. Um, it is it had a dorsal ridge, but it was it was broken along here, and this edge sharpened. It is uh, it, it's flattened here. This could have very easily been attached to a handle, or hand held and used, but because of the how the base looks, I would say it was attached to a handle. Uh, this piece is um, again probably from the late woodland period, and is a really nice example of a stone knife. So let's move on and look at some stone knives from other sites that I found here in the last couple of years. Here's another uh, display case which houses many different kinds of cutting tools. And these um, were all found along a railroad track here in the Saginaw, Michigan. Um, on the left here you will see a common blade, would have been handheld, sharpened along the dorsal ridge and on the edges. The other one here, let me see if I can get a better picture of these, uh, is a, that's a square back handheld knife again, sharpened on both the edges for cutting, handheld, more than likely handheld anyways. And as we look down in here, you'll see various other kinds of cutting and chopping tools that would be classified archaeologically as knives and axes, actually. And here is yet another display. Uh, these also were found along the same railroad track. These are various knives and axes. Um, sometimes it's hard to distinguish which they, um, excuse me, which they were used for as a knife or an axe. These smaller pieces quite obviously were used as knives. And uh, they come in quite a variety of sizes and shapes. This particular site produced <laughs> um, overall, not just knives, but overall artifacts, has produced approximately 300 pieces, identifiable pieces, um, some uh, 
quite rare, such as the stone bead you see in the back on the left. Um, so it's a, it's a fascinating site that produces every time I go there. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a long walk from where I live, so I don't get there very often. But 90% of what you're seeing here are stone knives. It's hard to ascertain the period that these are from because there is little diagnostic material found from them, but I suspect these go back as far as the late archaic period, which could be several thousand years. Well, more like 6,000 years. Sorry about the window glare. This entire display case are, or is, excuse me, consisting of stone knives. They are a unique chert, which is a banded chert, um, which is not native to Michigan as far as I can tell. So I'm not sure where it was brought in from or if they were made someplace else and then brought in. But uh, again, these are from the same railroad track site, uh, which has produced literally hundreds of artifacts, 90% of them being cutting tools, knives and or celts and axes, as well as some uh, grooved hammer stones. And again, they could go back as much as 6,000 years. The pieces in this display case are from uh, a different site. These were collected near Mason Road and Williams Road, again here in Saginaw, Michigan. And these definitely go to the late archaic period. Um, they're uniquely there, I found actually engraved bone artifacts. But as you would expect, a wide variety of knives and cutting tools. Um, anything that had a good sharp edge could be used as a, a knife. But I'm talking about mainly identifiable forms um, that, could be, that, that are knives, not just um, random flakes of stone. Although they did use random flakes of stone too. It's just hard to ascertain them as being an actual artifact unless they're found in conjunction with um, other known forms uh, and types. I don't know if you can see it on this. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit if I can. This bone, well, it's not letting me zoom in. There we go. This bone actually, well, it's going to blur. Sorry. It has an engraved sun pattern in the handle. And uh, it is a type of knife. It's a it sharpened on this end and it was used as a gouge probably in wood. And there are literally hundreds of examples in my collection of stone knives. But that's just a few of, the, of them. They're, they're, each one is fascinating and each one tells a, a different story about history and prehistory and how people lived in very ancient times. Hope you enjoyed this brief but not very technical look at some of the ancient knives that I've come across here in Saginaw, Michigan. Have an awesome day. Thanks.